come along and check it out Definitely. here. Definitely, you'll hear the live show. You mentioned, you touched on Funkadelic yeah. earlier, your involvement with them. Very quickly, tell us how that came about. Well, I was in uh, Boston and uh, I got into the Holiday Inn uh, uh, elevator and I had a whole bunch of, it was cassettes then anyway, I had a Walkman. And uh, this guy was there, Bernie Worrell. And we bumped into each other literally, cassettes all over the floor and I'm like that. And he picked up mine, I picked up his and I said, what is this? And he said, come up to the room. So I went up and uh, I found out what they were doing and I had no idea, you know, at the time about Parliament mm -hmm. Funkadelic. I just, I'd come to the States actually with a heavy metal band just so I could go and find funk and to, to work with the best people in the world. And Bernie said, well, come along to the Sugar Shack tonight and we'll, you know, we'll have a, come and see the gig. As soon as I saw Parliament Funkadelic, that was it with me. Is so, um, I, is so he put me in touch with a woman called Ruth Copeland, who was Sly Stone's ex-lady. And I did an album with her, and then she brought in some of the P-Funkers to do the album. Okay. So I just, uh, it's been a, a, a great relationship with Bernie for, as I say, for 30 years. And right. Uh, we're just keeping going. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, Jesse Reed, thank you so much oh, for pleasure. joining us in the studio. It's been thank an absolute you. pleasure. Thank Thanks. you very much.